Hi, I'm Magic Ben. I have here with me my friend Liz. And uh, Liz, so we haven't arranged anything. You don't know what you're about to see. This is a live single continuous shot. Um, but however, I'm going to teach this uh, trick as well. So uh, Magic Ben teaches the magnetic cards. <clears throat> and uh, uh, this is um, this is actually uh, something that I didn't make up. Um, but but I think it's really really cool to learn. Um, and today I'm going to teach you the Galbraith principle, and I'm going to do a trick using the Galbraith principle called magnetic cards. Magnetic cards, um, <clears throat> and it's uh, it was something invented in the 50s. Uh, this this mathematician Norman Galbraith, he basically discovered what's what we know today call the Galbraith principle, um, and it's it's really amazing. It's been uh, <clears throat> it's uh, it's uh, there's, there's many dozens of tricks that, that, that use this principle. So, um, but I'll do the I'll do the trick. I'll perform the trick first. And as with all my um, magic performances, I mean, for for me, I'm I'm here to entertain. I'm not necessarily here to teach people. There are many things out there in YouTube land that you can find. You know, people who whose main purpose on their channel is to teach. Um, mine's just here to to add some awe and wonder to your to your to your day. Okay. So I have here uh, uh, Liz, just a, a normal deck of cards, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and um, we'll just cut the deck kind of in kind of in half here. Let me see if I try to get about a half <coughs> cards. Is that? Yeah, maybe that's a few more cards. Okay. All right. So that's about half-ish. Okay. So <coughs> just uh, shuffle those two cards together. Good. Right. Again? Oh, that's fine. Then you can uh, maybe cut them. Okay. Yep. Good. Okay. So <clears throat> now, um, what we're gonna do is just well, uh, I'll have you do it. Just deal them into two into two piles. All the cards. Yeah. Okay, good. So, we took uh, just a normal deck of cards. We uh, um, we <coughs> um, sh you shuffled them, mm -hmm. and you cut them, and you dealt them into two files. So, just flip over the top two cards there, and yeah, show them. Yep. So the reason why this is called um, magnetic cards is because uh, there are cards that are black and red, and they and they like to be um, paired like that. So flip over the next two cards, and let's see if. They're both red and black. And flip over the next two cards. Let's see if they're both red and black. Flip over the next two cards. Let's see if they're red and black. Flip mm -hmm. over the next two cards. Let's see if they're red and black. Mm -hmm. Flip over the next two cards. Let's see if they're red and black. Wow. Flip over the next two cards. See if they're red and black. Wow. Flip over the next two cards. See if they're red and black. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> Is that amazing? That's crazy. <laughs> Wow. And you shuffled them. I shuffled <laughs> them. Right? I didn't yeah, touch them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you cut them. I, okay. Oh, so we so we had one that doesn't... Okay, keep going. Okay. okay, red and black. They're flipped, but it's still red and black. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So pretty impressive, right? Yeah, like most yeah, of, yeah. almost almost every pair was red and black. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, that's the uh, that's the the uh, the Galbraith pencil and work. Um, so I'm Magic Ben. Now I'm gonna teach this trick so you can stay on to to watch how it's done. But you know, again, uh, some people like magic because it it's mm. uh, you know I think magic is wonderful because it has mm. that. When I see magic, you know, I love just being inspired and that sort of sense of awe and wonder that that mm. it invokes in, in somebody i think is great <clears throat> um so so spoilers if you want to stay on uh, uh stay on and i'll and i'll teach the trick um now uh the principle called galbraith's principle named after norman galbraith was actually um sort of there was a sort of what's called a 
proto or pre-Galbraith's principle. Charles um, Jordan and um, J. Russell Duck, um, actually, they sort of discovered the principle uh, before they really kind of knew the math behind the principle. So, so, so people sort of stumbled on the, the mathematical principle that underlies this trick. <clears throat> Uh, before it was kind of given a name. And and there's actually something called like this universal uh, Galbraith principle, uh, which which he published some years later um, after uh, after he did it. Now, I will say there's dozens of, uh, I mean like dozens of, of, of magic tricks that utilize this amazing principle. <clears throat> um, Assy Wind has a trick called True Colors. Uh, Hector Chadwick has a, has a trick called Red and Blacks. Um, Max Maven, uh, the famous Max Maven, has mm. called has called it the uh, um, this is a terrifying thing of of beauty, <laughs> um, and he has a number of tricks called Zenvelopes, um, and and uh, uh, Word Row, <clears throat> um, Woody uh, Aragon has Sci-Fry and Grandpa Poker, David Williamson uh, has a, has a trick. Anyway, there's many 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 magicians mm. who have come up with with. Uh, um, um, tricks based on the Galbraith principle. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> there's a little bit of a, a thing going on here. So uh, so there and it does require a setup. So you you I let so it is a normal deck of cards. It's not a trick deck of cards, but um, <clears throat> but you do have to uh, you do have to do this. So so the uh, uh, so every the, the it has to start with every other card is red and black alternating. Okay, so that's the that's the sort of trick to this thing. So, <clears throat> um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just making all the, I'm just making all the cards alternate red and black. And I set, uh, you know, before the trick began, before before you guys uh, um, started this, I had actually prepared the deck so that, and maybe I missed a pair. That's probably why it, it, that one pair misfired. <clears throat> um, Okay, so you see all I'm doing is just alternating black and white the cards so that red, black, red, like this. Okay, so now all throughout the whole deck, it's red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black, okay? Now, what I did uh, um, for you was I said, this is a normal deck of cards, right? And I just sort of spread, mm. and in parts of the thing, I, I would spread chunks of... So if I just said this is a normal deck of cards, and you saw that every, that, mm. you know, you can easily see that every card is black and white, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I also, um, you know, if you do that, you can kind of see it's it's red and black. Mm. However, if you spread it like chunk, show a couple cards chunk, show mm. you know, like it's it's you can't really tell that every card is alternating black and white, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so there's a there's a little bit of thing in that. So rather than do that trick again, let me show you of the the principle in a different way. Mm -hmm. So I have here um, Joker, a red card, red card, Joker, red card, Joker, red card, Joker. And <clears throat> you can see uh, there's, um, uh, you'll be able to see how the how the principle works um, in a, uh, <clears throat> um, like in a different way. So, so uh, mm. if we take two, um, the principle kind of is like this. If you take two decks, essentially, and Note at the beginning of the thing, I had you, I had you split the deck in, mm -hmm. in two, or I, I split the deck in two, mm -hmm. um, and <clears throat> um, and now we have uh, notice that one is starting red, black, red, black, and the other is the opposite, black, mm -hmm. red, black, red, mm -hmm. right? So red, black, red, black, black, red, black, red. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> what I want you to do is just take a card from either. Uh, let's do this face down, actually. Mm -hmm. um, take a card from either pile. Okay. And just and just create uh, uh, the top oh, sorry the top card oh, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. and then yeah, make a pile from it okay. like this oh. and now take a card from either pile either one yep and keep doing that you could take it from here if you want or you know you can alternate and take one from the same one yep like that okay good right and now if you deal those into two piles. <coughs> What we should see is that basically every pair of cards should alternate uh, two different black whites. Mm. Okay, 
And that doesn't matter how you how you took the cards, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and the reason why that works, we'll do it face up. And when you do it face up, you'll be able to see why this works. So this is crucial in understanding why this why this principle works. Now, if we do this face up instead of face down, you can see what's going on. Take a card from either pile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. And put it in front of you. And we'll do it face up instead of mm -hmm. face down now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So. You see that that's essentially a black card. Mm -hmm. Now, notice what's interesting. The next card, no matter where you take it from, is mm. going to be red, right? Mm. So take one of the cards, all right, and you're putting it on the top. And notice now you've got um, mm -hmm. a pair, essentially a pair going on. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were to take this card, <coughs> mm -hmm. a black card, mm -hmm. and start the next group or the next pair, you'll notice that the next card you must take is an alternating card. Mm. And the same thing if you took this red card, mm -hmm. the next card you took would be an alternating black mm. card. Mm. So it's going to, no matter what, alternate to the next. So pick one, whichever one you want. Okay. So you're starting the next pair now. Mm. And so the next one has to be a matching pair because they, yeah. they alternate. Mm. So even if I took this one, yes. that one. Yep. Same thing if you took, now take another one. Okay. <laughs> yep. And the, whichever one you want. Mm. Yep. Good. Okay. Now notice when you deal them into two p into two pairs, like black, red, black, all the pairs, red, but all the pairs are going to yeah. alternate, uh, no matter what. So when mm. you when it comes out, it's going to have black, red, black, red, black, mm. red, black, red. Mm. It'll always be mm. a pair like that. Mm. Now, <coughs> here's the really cool thing: um, when we do that with a deck of cards that's mm. set up like this, okay, mm. you do need to kind of split up the deck into about half. But the key thing is the bottom cards have to alternate. So you have to, if, if, if um, uh, um, in the actual trick when you saw mm. it, I don't know if you noticed, but basically mm. I had to, I had to, I, I tried to do it subtly, but basically yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to look at the bottom mm -hmm. and then make sure that one side was black like this. Mm -hmm. okay, so it has to start mm -hmm. like that when you cut the deck. Mm -hmm. But then after that, you can literally shuffle, you, really? know, you can do a riffle shuffle however they want. Mm. And here's the very interesting thing. I'll explain why this works. Mm. And, and... Uh, doing this will help you understand why riffle shuffling doesn't mm. sort of matter. The reason why that doesn't matter is, notice when I take my thumbs and I and I and I uh, take a card, it's mm. as if I'm selecting the card from those two piles. Mm. So it's just my thumb is is effectively saying I either take t two from the same pile mm. or I alternate and go to the other pile. Mm. So it's it's the exact same thing as. You know, picking a card from one, I pick a card from here, I pick a mm. card from here, or I pick two cards from here, or I pick a card from here, I pick even three mm. cards from mm. here, mm. I pick a card from here, here, here. It doesn't matter because the way well. the Galbraith principle works, that I just showed you, it, you know, it'll you'll end up with <coughs> the cards. And the mm. same thing, when I shuffle, it's the same thing as kind of taking off the top, except my thumbs are kind of mm. taking from the bottom. Mm. So basically, when I do when I do a shuffle, I'm either sort of dropping one or two cards, or maybe even a chunk of cards. It doesn't matter. And when you do a shuffle, it's basically I'm 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 basically selecting cards just with my mm. thumbs, and mm. instead of selecting from the top, mm. I'm selecting from the bottom. But at the end of the day, <coughs> um, you'll notice that basically every every group yeah. of cards, every two cards is still mm. paired. You see? Red, yeah, black, yeah, red, yeah. black, black, red, mm. black, red, red, That's black, amazing. black, red, red, black, red, black, and, and every pair of cards comes out. So mm. when you deal them into mm. two separate piles, <coughs> um, and when you deal them into, uh, so maybe something happened on the top there, but basically when I deal them into two separate piles, mm. every pair of cards is going to come out as a pair. Hmm. And so this is also what's known as a self-working trick. So there's no this part of it. There's no there's no uh, um, <coughs> I don't know, I have a map file, <laughs> but I think that might have been the, the the boundary. We had a boundary hmm. pair there, but um, essentially it should come out basically that every every pair had will come out as a as a hmm. uh, as a black red, right? So. <coughs> yeah. And again, I was doing something from the top and the bottom. I'm gonna mix things up a little bit, but basically. Hmm. Um, uh, that's basically how the how the how the idea works. So mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> now, uh, again, there's been many, many, many dozens of, of of tricks that are based on. If you go to you know, if you go just uh, search on the internet or go YouTube, 
you'll find, you know, just type Galbraith principle. Mm. You'll see other ways to, to how it's described and stuff. But this was, well, you know, this is probably the best explanation mm -hmm. I've seen of the basics of why, mm -hmm. you know, really fundamentally, just take a few cards, don't take a mm. whole deck of cards. Mm. Um, we did it with a whole deck of cards, but, but um, you know, this particular uh, way, you know, you can see if I take one, it doesn't mm. matter which pile I take from, so long as mm. it's alternating, and so long mm. as the, the, um, so long as the, the cards alternate back and forth, and as I take one, the next one I have to take, you'll see, is of the on alternating color, and then the next one I take is of black, mm. so the next one that's presented to me is a red, and then <clears throat> no matter which one I take, the next one has to be in alternating colors, black, mm. and so forth. And that's why, that's why this principle works, is notice that every two cards uh, is, is, is of an alternating pair. Now the, uh, the, uh, the ultimate Galbraith principle <coughs> is a sort of um, generalization of this in that it works with groups. Um, it's a little bit more complex, um, but I won't go into that. You can, if you're, you know, for the interested reader, you know, watcher, viewer, you can, you can, you can explore it more. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, that's the that's uh, uh, yeah. this was originally published in I think uh, Genie magazine I want to say mm. in like 1950s in the 1950s mm. by Norman Galbraith, mm. and um, <clears throat> uh, I think his his original trick was uh, magnetic cards. So mm. in deference to that, oh, I'm calling it the, the wow. magnetic cards. That's so cool. So yep, Thanks. thank you. I'm Magic Ben, Thanks. and be sure to check out some of my other magic uh, videos. Thank you.